Okay. I thought I would do a video on how I handle rejection. So it's hard. Like I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy. No one likes to be rejected, no matter what. But I will tell you that if there's one thing that I've learned throughout my years of acting, it's been like 20 something years now, is that like in, in the beginning, I would read a script and I would just fall in love with the character fall in love with the movie or the TV show and die to be a part of it. And I would audition and you pour your heart into your auditions. Like you really, really do. And I wouldn't get it. <laughs> and it killed me. And I would cry. And then another script would come along. And I'd be like, okay, if not that one, then this one. And I wouldn't get that one either. <laughs> And it happens a lot. Like I auditioned for a while there, I counted, and it was something like 90 auditions a year between acting and voiceovers. And the thing that always kept me going was it just takes one. It ta just takes one yes. I could have 89 no's and one yes. And that yes makes all the difference in the world. And there were of course times that I thought of giving up. Or of course, I was like, can I even act? How come no one wants me? Why don't I keep getting, why don't I get any roles? Blah, 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 blah. And, but then there was always someone who did. There was always another role that I would fall in love with. There was always another opportunity. And through my years, it was like, this is either gonna crush me or make me stronger. And it made me stronger. And I think with life, it is that way. Like we get our hearts broken. You know, we go through heartache and we go through bad times and we go through trials and tribulations. And I think what makes you strong and successful and happy is that willingness to brush it off, pick your feet up, you know, cry for a day or two if you have to, eat a pint of ice cream, you know, whatever makes you feel better and get you through it. But at the end of the day, you, you have a choice and you pick yourself up and you try again. And if it's a heartbreak, you pick yourself up and you get over him. <laughs> and another one comes along. But I feel like it always has to do with how do you handle it? It's not about what someone else does to you, ever. It's about how do you handle it? Because let's face it, life sucks. Life is hard. Crap things happen. People get dealt really bad cards and trauma happens and all of those things, but you can't let those things take you down. You can't because then that's giving your power away to someone else and you don't want to do that. You want your power. You have that power and Owning that and hanging on to it and picking yourself back up and going, fine. What did I learn? How can I be better? What did I learn from this? And fuck it. Keep going. It's gotten me through a lot. And I don't know if this is helpful to you, but I hope it is. I hope it is. And I'll tell you one thing. I went through a period of time. It was about three years. And I auditioned a lot, a lot. And for whatever reasons, whatever was going on in my life, I'd get very close on so many things, like so many things, but it just wouldn't happen. And after three years, I got Riverdale and life changes. And that's how it is. And it was something like 270 auditions. Like I saved the scripts. At one point I was like, I'm just gonna save these scripts. And then when I get my next job, I'm gonna you know, fan them out all over the floor and I'm gonna take a picture of them to remind me where I came from. And I did that, and I did that. And there was a lesson in there for me. And keep going, something better is always around the corner. Keep going, keep fighting.